my lovelies. How are you today? Okay, so graduation is upon us, and we're gonna celebrate by making some awesome graduation charms. Let's go. So here's some of them that are already done. Um, we have the diploma, um, a book with the school's initials, those hats with the tassels on there, and the year. And this I bought at Walmart. You can buy like little chunks at Walmart. And for this, we're gonna use gold, silver, translucent or white for the inside of the pages, black or blue. So to make the diploma, we're gonna get some, whatever color you choose, I chose silver, and we're gonna flatten it out to make a flat. Mm-hmm. So after you get your um, desired uh, look, you just take it. It does not have to be perfect. Start rolling it. And there we go. This is, so yeah, now we have our diploma. Now let's go ahead and, um, where's that blue? Or whatever color you want. I'm using blue. Pull it out into a stain. But don't touch a snake, cause it'll kill you. Okay, I'm just playing. Okay, take your diploma and wrap it like so. Let's bring it. See? And then just cut the little excess piece off. And you should have this. Now to make it look like it's we're gonna take this extra piece that you cut off or whatever piece you want to do um, look like a ribbon take it and do this like this see and then take the other piece and do the same thing okay so we're gonna assemble them one ribbon and Two the last thing you're gonna do to this is put a little hole in it uh, on the other side so when you add your little piece to hang on the charm bracelet it will go in and you're done with this piece so for this next piece, we're gonna go ahead and make the plaque, which is like the easiest out of all of them. Just flatten it out. I'm using gold. Okay, flatten it. And it's a plaque, so you're gonna wanna make it like sharp edges and make it. Um, like the end of the year. Okay? You can make it big if you want to, but if you do, it's gonna be hard to insert the um, charm piece. Just in your next minute? Okay. After you get it as straight and narrow as you want it to be, and not super duper thick like I did, um, you can go ahead, lift it up a little bit so you don't mess it up. See? You can go ahead and put the hole in it. Okay. One. Do we bake it? We're gonna put the year on it. So next we're gonna make the book, okay? So go ahead and get your color of your choice and of course flatten it out. You can use some sort of rolling tool, but you know, because I'm Okay, we're just gonna cut that part anyways, okay? Okay. So, for the pages, you can use either white or whatever. I'm using translucent just because I like how um, the pages inside of the books turned out. Like this. This is translucent, so it looks like the papers are like old and stuff or whatever. Take it and you're gonna flatten this also. And it's okay if, you know, your clay has little marks in it. You're not gonna see it, you're only gonna see the outside. And you want the pages to be smaller than the book so they can fit in the book. There we go. 
ahead and insert your pages. Every time, and then go ahead. See how it's coming together? And yeah. Okay, so here's the book. And with the eye pen in, okay. Now we're gonna go ahead and add the pages. Take some sort of um, sharp tool, okay? And you're just gonna lightly, lightly, go ahead and insert the pages. You're just gonna, you know, tap into this, like that. And then this side, it does not have to be perfect. See how that looks like pages? And then the last one, go. There is our book. And like I said, we will paint it after it's baked. Okay, lovelies, the next and last thing that we are going to be making is the hat. It does have a name. I'm not sure. I forgot what it's called. But, um, yeah. Okay, we're going to go ahead. Whatever color you chose. I'm using silver. Um, take that and we're going to flatten it out. And we're going to form it into a square. Okay, a square. So, yeah. You want it kind of um, not thick, otherwise you're not going to be able to put in your little eye pin or whatever. Well, yeah, okay. You're going to take the same and make this into a circle. This is going to be the um, bottom of the hat. This is where the head goes in and this is just the top. So you're going to make that into a circle and you're going to stick that right in the middle okay see how it's coming together you have the top so I'm gonna take some gold whatever color you chose okay and we're gonna make you don't need a lot of this at all okay we're, now we're gonna make the strings you can individually make it but um there's an easier way to do it I promise okay gonna make this into a snake okay and you don't need a lot and this is gonna be the tassel the part that you know um, flies around like a helicopter okay and we're gonna stick that in the middle of the hat you don't need a lot of this I mean because once you bake it it might break off so just take that like that and you'll have this piece swing it around like this now to make the strings if you're not going to individually make them you can go like this and this makes it look like a lot of strings see how that looks like the strings and then the last piece, you're gonna take a very small color that you used, ooh, excuse me, all right, that you used, and you're gonna have like a little circle, and this is gonna be the little piece that's like sort of sewn on. And there we go, this is the graduation hat. And of course, you're gonna take some sort of sharp tool, I'm using my handy dandy toothpick, and um, just, one on the other side there we go it so now we're gonna take all of our graduation pieces quit rolling around okay and we're going to bake them okay okay let's bake them here are some that I finished different colors diplomas plaques the hat thingies and I made some books and here we go these are all of them baked and I'm gonna go ahead and put um, the findings on them so this is what I mean when I said um, it's good to make it kind of thin so it'll fit so get on there and there we go um, okay, so now all of the findings are on there and now we can paint them So for the plaque, I'm gonna write um the year 
of the person graduating, so I am got my handy dandy toothpick. Ooh, that is a lot. And now for the book, you can um, you can put whatever you want on there. You can put the initials of the school on there, like I did on this one. But on this one, I'm just gonna write like um, the subject of some sort of subject that. And there's probably like a million ways you can make this neater, but this is a tutorial, so you know, do it how you want to. Now that you've got everything painted that you wanted to do, okay, um, get you some um, some clay glaze. I mean, I'm cheap, so I'm using this um, clear nail polish. And this is what really um, makes a difference in the, your charms. It's, it's going to look so pretty once it's like shiny because it looks complete and amazing, okay? <laughs> So when everything is nice and dry, your bracelet should look something like this. If you added a bracelet, you can also use gold, but I used silver, okay? And this is the finished product. And you can also add your own charms. I got these at Walmart. Um, I'm gonna give them to my friends at church. Okay, so, um, yep, here it is. Let's try it on. Here we go. Simple, easy graduation charms. Thank you guys so, 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 so much for watching. Um, comment, rate, and subscribe. And tell me how you liked this charm video. Okay, if there's any other kind of cool charms that I should see or that I should make, let me know in the comments below. Okay, um, again, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see my lovelies next time. Bye.